Hi, so in this video I want to explain to you the difference between black hat SEO versus white hat SEO. The idea is uh, that when you're doing white hat SEO, you're following every single guideline and rule that Google gives you. And when you're doing black hat SEO, you're only following some to no rules. Now, like I said, when you're doing white hat SEO, you follow exactly the rules Google gives you to position your site in the highest positions. So if you're following every single rule, you won't be penalized. So there's no paying for links. So if you want to, to get links, you need to do it in a natural way. You need to produce quality content that people find relevant and interesting enough so they want to link to you. For example, many websites share links to Wikipedia because Wikipedia has interesting and relevant and important content. So the idea with White Hat SEO is that you create valuable enough content that people find interesting and want to link to your site. Black Hat SEO is the exact opposite. We do not follow all the rules Google gives us to position your site in the highest positions. So, because of that, we are subject to penalties if we exaggerate on these techniques. So, it's good to have a mix between white hat and black hat SEO, and I'll explain why in a bit. But, in black hat SEO, in contrary to white hat SEO, you can pay for links. So, if you want to get links to your site, you can pay for them. You don't have to wait for someone to find your site, find your content, and decide if it's relevant or not, and link to you. So strategies like PBN links are considered black hat SEO. Doing black hat SEO techniques does not imply that you'll be penalized. That's really important. You have, of course, a higher probability of being so because you're taking higher risk than when using uh, white hat techniques. I personally mix white hat techniques with black hat SEO techniques because it's the most effective way to get a site actually ranked in Google. And you must take into account, of course, that there are ways of doing things and we should never abuse them. So you should never abuse and do only black hat SEO techniques. I mean, you can, but most likely you'll be penalized eventually. Now, here are some examples of some black hat SEO techniques. Like I said, PBN links are completely black hat. But again, I'll have a couple of videos in this course explaining to you how to actually create a PBN network that's immune to being penalized. Then you have keyword stuffing, which is basically including your main keyword uh, repeated several times in your, in the page you're trying to rank, so you shouldn't do this. You should have your main keyword, your exact match keyword, only a couple of times, and then you should mix it in with long tail versions of your keyword, brand mentions, naked URLs, etc. Then you have camouflage text, which is basically putting your keywords, your main keywords or long tail versions of them, uh, in with white letters in a white background. This is doesn't make any sense because even though people can't see them, Google. Google robots can actually see them, so you'll eventually be penalized. Again, paying for links, it's against Google Terms of Service. And finally, buying reviews on Yelp, Google Trustpilot, uh, this is also considered a black hat SEO technique. And that concludes this video, so it's important for you to know the, the difference between these two concepts, white hat and black hat SEO techniques, so you can be more in tune with the SEO world. That being said, I'll see you in the next video.